Hello everyone, Scott Hutchison here coming at you from my studio in Arlington. Um, welcome. Um, I'm at my, my uh, Zoom slash workstation here um, to uh, tell you about what I've been doing and to show you a little bit of, um, of something I'm excited about. Um, I am I'm going to be ha hosting a um, virtual studio tour at the end of September and I'm also going to be teaching virtually um, at Georgetown University um, painting and drawing. And so what I've done the last couple of days was uh, gather some of the tech I already had and um, got a little extra technology to, um, to start broadcasting um, or at least um, amateur casting, <laughs> I guess, um, putting cameras in my studio. Um, so that you can, so that I can um, teach some of my demos um, with multiple views of what I'm what I'm uh, working on, and also through my Open Studio session, I have a um, 360 view essentially of of my studio. Um, so I will show you that in just one second. Um, by the way, my Open Studio, um, I'll give you an announcement later on the exact time that's going to be but um, it'll be at the end of September. So if I put that out there now, people will forget. So, so it'll be a few weeks beforehand. And it's not like you have to get in a car and drive here. So all I have to do is hit a link and you'll be able to um, see me, um, ask some questions and I'll do my best to answer them. So I'll announce that uh, later. This is just sort of like a, a reference, a resource, um, sort of a, a window on the, the uh, the back end of this whole mess, uh, you know, me trying to go virtual um, studio as well as uh, teaching. So what I'm going to hold up here is my tablet. It's just an Android tablet. Um, it's like a five-year-old tablet and I have installed on it um, Team uh, Touch Portal. See, it says Touch Portal. This little app um, is going to be controlling all the cameras I have installed around the um, around the uh, studio. Um, so when you walk, so you see me walk around, you're going to see me walking around with this. I'm going to be clicking on each camera um, as, as I do that. Now, I'm actually recording this through Zoom. So I'm able to switch cameras here through Zoom. Um, Zoom doesn't have that as a native um, feature. What you need to use is OBS. Um, it's, a, it's a freeware program. Um, you can install it on Mac or PC. And that is actually the software that interfaces and directly connects to the cameras themselves. This is just a little plugin that connects to OBS that then you can control the cameras. Does that make sense? So you have OBS and you have the cameras connected to that. And then this allows you to switch between, this is just a switcher. That's all it is. So um, my camera is actually let me show you here. This is my just regular Logitech webcam that I use for my, most of my Zoom meetings. So I'll go to my cell phone. This is a cell phone. Um, it's an old cell phone. So you see it's a little laggy. Um, it'll, it'll be my standby cell phone. But you see the program here, IV Cam. Um, both of my cell phones that I'm using here um, have IV Cam installed on them. And it turns your cell phone into a webcam. So. This is one, um, one cam, and you can see my artwork here. The quality isn't the best, but um, it will do in a pinch for my open studios, I think, because I think my mic still comes through fine. Um, so I also have another camera set up right here. This is my cell phone, other cell phone. I'll go to that. And that goes to my back wall. This is where I was sitting, talking to you all in my chair. So that's my webcam. Anyway, this is my newer cell phone. It's a, it's a little less laggy, a little higher quality image. And these are all connected wirelessly. There's no wires here. I'm doing a test today to see how long that lasts. But you see this on tripod right there? That's my other camera. That is my DSLR camera. So it has interchangeable lens, much better. I actually have my microphone connected to my DSLR the whole time. And that's, that's on, it's plugged into the wall it'll stay on for hours. So this is primarily the camera that I'll be using for, um, for my demonstrations and for most of my 
studio talk, I think. Um, once I light, you know, light up the setup, bring it in closer. Um, I'm going to do a real quick test. For example, let's let's get this guy. See how clear it will it will go. Maybe take a little while to focus if it's focusing at all. <laughs> but that's something I can set manually. You know, once I'm ready, um, I can uh, set that up and close my canvas or my palette. Anyway. Um, so back to the webcam as I walk toward it. Um, switching between on zoom, very nice. Um, now I just wish that the cameras were all high quality, but that's not going to happen. Um, long term, if I were to, to do this, this is that's what I would end up doing. Uh, but uh, this this is this was this is a game changer, I think, for me. So anyway, hope you learned something. Um, I will uh, link some of the uh, software that I'm using to connect all this together so that you can have a look at that if you want. Um, and uh, anyway, thanks for coming by. Scott Hutcherson, over and out. See you later.